In this video, we're gonna be talking about some of the underlying causes of sickness, disease, and mental health, both in Australia and in the USA from our recent travels. So guys, as awakened souls, as you go through your journey, one of the big things that we learn to uh, develop as a principle is this principle of personal responsibility in terms of not blaming something outside ourselves for our physical state, our mental state, or our emotional state. Learning to own who we are and our responses to what's going on around us, but then also how we can actually make choices daily to actually influence and ensure that we are in balance physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. That's right. So Pete and I went on this awakening journey and it was like this calling. We cracked open and we knew that we had to heal our inner child wounds, the wounds that developed our patterns, our conditioning in our childhood. And then we moved into this principle of understanding the emotions. When they're not moving, the emotions flowing through us and we're dealing with the emotions like a little kid, you know, a little kid will have a tantrum in the moment, in this now moment. They don't bury everything and deal with it later. And that's what all of us adults are now conditioned to do. From a very young age, this started. So what we're seeing now is people having negative health conditions because of this suppressed energy. So energy is emotion and it's a part of your four part being spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical. So the emotional engine is something that we've all been conditioned to shut down, shut off, suppress, not deal with, hide. It's, you know, big boys don't cry. So these emotions we now have to bring out and deal with and that's the inner heal uh, child healing that we need to go through so as you're learning to get out of your head and to open your heart what we're learning to do is to feel more sometimes people operate on a very very narrow band of emotions it's like rare to see them really really upset but it's also it could be rare to see them really really happy as well. It's almost like they are numb and they go through life in this monotone tone, never really getting too happy because they don't ever really want to feel the opposite of that, which could be feeling really sad as well. It's like their heart is shut down. They are shut down emotionally. And when you're shut down, you're blocked. And when you're blocked, things can start to rot and fester. And at an energetic level, the blocks of, let's say, being suppressed, unheard, unacknowledged or appreciated as a child might manifest themselves in the person not being able to, as an adult, speak their truth, own what they say, have any sort of joy or expression And very often there can be a relationship between people who have an emotional injury like that and problems in and around their throat. They're shut down in the throat chakra, which is responsible for expression. So issues in and around the throat, the thymus, the glands, their tonsils, et cetera, et cetera. Very often a person like that, not always, but very often, the person can actually have emotional injury tied in and under that. And one of the things we noticed in the United States was your advertisements being a lot different to the advertisements in Australia, in that in Australia, there's not a lot of medications sold on general television. We don't normally watch general television (laughs) because it was all different. Well, uh, let's put the TV on and see what Americans watch. And uh, yeah, discuss what we noticed though. Yeah, ad after ad selling medication because you're not healthy. (laughs) Over and over and over telling the consumer, the client on the other end of the screen that they're not healthy and they need this tablet to feel good. And then that way you don't need to eat your vegetables. It was like coercion at its finest. And we just really noticed it because we walked into this vortex of this energy and we're not used to it. So it really stood out for us. It was like, it was amusing because there would be high blood pressure medication. And if you take this for your anxiety, your hypertension, you this, that, or the other, and then really quickly they can, you know, can, can cause you to vomit and uh, cause you to die early, and uh, you won't be able to sleep at night, and link to this or that or the other. And check with your and doctor then, if it's yeah, right yeah. for you. 
And then the next ad is, and now on special at KFC or Hungry Jack's or you know, Burger King or yeah, you know, Carl Jr.'s, all the different <laughs> yeah. ones. And it was like, they were just talking about hypertension and high blood pressure and blah, 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 blah. And, like, and it was like that over and over and over and medical insurance. And oh, medical insurance was the third. It was like there was three routine. It was going around and around and around, just sending you all of this dense energy. So all of this dense energy coming into our vortex, we're such sensitive beings. So we're absorbing all of this programming and it's coming into our body. So what we're around, we become, right? And I I have had this. I was in a home where I felt controlled as a little girl. There was sexual abuse going on. And by the age of 19 and 20, I had ovarian cancer. This is cancer that comes from a negative conditioning and a negative situation that you're dwelling in projects into your field. And this is why the planet is so sick right now. This is why we're on so many medications trying to correct it, but it never gets corrected. It's just like this ongoing business model to keep you in this level of consciousness, which is the 3D matrix. So if you're listening to this, be mindful. This is real. This is consciousness. This is learning to expand your awareness. And there are healthier ways to, to raise your vibration, to become healthier, to look at your emotions. The emotions is the key to remove negative health concerns. Always. We see this in every single session that we do. We have so many people shift and change from when, when they address the false belief or they, they address the split soul from their childhood. They start to all of a sudden let this stuff go. This is energy that's banked up in their organs and we can start to pull and release it out as they start to let it go once and for all and come to terms with what happened and why it happened and the spectrum like the low we don't we don't get to the high place without experiencing that low frequency and we're all here to ascend up so it's like the opposite polarity this is what we're living in the laws of this planet and this experience has polarity right and we have to have the bad in order to feel and appreciate the good and the clean and the beautiful emotions on the higher levels so moving forward, you can definitely find areas where you're giving away your power and you can reclaim that by simply realizing that you are responsible for your response when someone might be particularly triggering. You're actually responsible for your health and the choices that you make of what you feed into your physical body do actually influence how well that engine works. Even the information that you feed into your brain and mind is like food for the brain and mind. If you fill that brain and mind full of the good, the clean, the powerful, the positive, you're more likely to have thoughts that are aligned with motivation, positivity, happiness. So be careful what you watch. Be careful the people that you hang around and associate with. And break out of this, what we started talking about, this giving the responsibility away, right? What we what we notice is like, if something goes wrong, just take a tablet for it. But meanwhile, take the easy option here, the quick, the easy, whatever, etc. All based on underlying emotions of quick and easy and things outside yourself are going to help to make you feel better, which it's not the solution. And we all know that. We all know that the more you realize and go within that your inner world is actually really influencing your outer world and you start to make different choices, you're going to notice not only do you feel better physically, you'll be able to think with more clarity and then just emotionally, you'll be more in a state of flow or ease and you'll be more tuned in, more sensitive, more aware. And this can lead to laughing more, but also perhaps feeling and crying more or feeling more. And law of attraction. Understanding, law of attraction changes. Mm -hmm. It's simple principles, but there's a trick to applying them. And that's what Roxy and I do when we work with people, whether it's on a group call, whether it's in our various uh, videos that we put out here on this YouTube channel or on Instagram, wherever you may be watching this, we're talking about our life and how we implement these principles into everyday life 
because once you can take inspiration and turn it into change or action, that's when the real shift takes place. Yeah, there's an answer for everything. Every single negative health concern in your body, in your field, all of your negative law of attraction events, there's an answer for everything. You've just got to untie the knot. And the knot is an invisible energy line linked back into your childhood. It's very simple. What you need to do is raise your vibration and have some guidance and be around this information. You will learn to how to self propel yourself up into the ascension after a while. That's exactly what we've done. That's only what we've done. We were self taught. <laughs> we taught ourselves how to do this as we went on our journey. And you can do it as well. You're a powerful creator being. All of the answers are in here. You. That's right, They're yes. They're all inside and you. And guys, if you've made it to this point in the video, I really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up uh, button and perhaps you've got a friend or a relative who is a classic at blaming things outside themselves. If you ever know someone like that, you know, pop it down in the comment section below if you've got someone in your family who's always blaming the weather or blaming, uh, you know, the government's fault or my teacher's fault or my boss's fault or whatever for how they're feeling or what's going on in their life because I think it would be funny to hear some examples. So we'd appreciate that. And thank you so much for supporting the channel because we're going to be putting out more videos in 2024. So hit the subscribe button if you're keen and interested to learn more and you'll get notifications if you've turned on that flag as soon as a new video drops. So for now, guys, bye from Pete and Rob.